everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and once again I am joined with Jolene! <laughs> it's- <laughs> Sorry, I'm like- <laughs> I'm a little laughy apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we've been struggling. Yeah, we, we've been struggling for the past 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because of a, a certain wheel choice that we decided to do. My bad. I'm sorry. I didn't think we'd have so little options. To be fair, he does get introduced in episode 20, and no one apparently liked him enough to write fan fiction. <laughs> Your favorite Lockdown no News character, Usopp. <laughs> God. No one liked Usopp, man. That's terrible. Hold up. Let me just admire my soon-to-be photo card of Usopp. Good. Admire. Maybe he'll get more after the live action. Like, settles down and whatnot. Oh, you know what I'm really- Oh, Shane, you know what I just realized? With the live action and people thirsting over all the boys and whatnot? I might get more Sanji mm -hmm. and Zoro shit. Hmm. <laughs> what is a win? <laughs> But, uh, alright, but the wheel spoke for us. I don't know if it's in a good way, though. <laughs> but, uh, we landed on Usopp. And Usopp X Reader, to be specific. And we found this lovely book, one of one. <laughs> one of one. Yep, that's it. There was only one. I, there was... You guys need to- if I can request, a, like, books to be written, it would be of this character. I need someone to make this man beautiful, right? He is beautiful, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, I'm like to write fanfiction, alright? Okay, I'm watching you. What? <laughs> I'm watching you, Lazowski. <laughs> <laughs> Always watching. Well, this one is called, I'll Remind You, I Promise, Usopp X Reader One Piece. And. Alright, so it, it's stated quote, YN has lived the same day over and over for two years. Usopp meets YN under the cherry blossom trees, arranged to see each other the next day. The next day, Usopp meets YN. YN has no memory. He finds out what happened to YN two years ago. Warning, there is swearing, killing, mentions of suicide, and sex. You have been warned. You ready? I- I'm ready as I could be. <laughs> ready as I'll ever be, man. So, we did this before. But, um, this is ever- this is our shitty OC, which we just based off of Kaya. Because we're not really original. <laughs> also, I'm glad they do this. That we were warned about a couple of things of like yeah yeah definitely <laughs> um Thank God the emojis are real funny though yeah. I just think their use of emoji usage is funny I mean the lemon makes sense the the butt the peach one for the butt and then like the what is the fucking like cantaloupe <laughs> what the that looks like a cantaloupe on my screen. It, it's a honeydew melon. Oh my god. <laughs> they couldn't use a watermelon for that? Alright, well... That suggestive... Warning, suggestive content. Alright. Well... I'm ready to... Oh wait, story notes. So... We could just skip them. Yeah, yeah. So, um... I, I don't know if it clicked for anyone else when they were uh, re when I, when I was reading the description. This sounds like a fucking Adam Sandler movie, and so if, if, if I want to see if it's actually similar to that. Ugh, all right. Well, where the fuck is my penny at? Lucky penny. Penny. Oh my. God. Rest in peace. Oh, I was gonna say rest in peace to Penny, but I don't dead. think we're quite done with her yet. Yeah. We're like, cat, like almost like halfway through. We're more than halfway through that book. Mm hmm. Because we're on what, like, chat 23 is where we left off, and there's 21 parts, like 30, sorry, 31 parts overall. Oh, yeah. We're like, we're almost we're there. Through. We're gonna get through a book. Okay, I couldn't find the Penny, but I found something better. 
This USB Me. drive. USB drive. I want the side with the, the little... You know how... Okay. You know how there's like the hollow side and then the solid side? Yeah. I want the I want the solid side. Well, it has like a little case. Actually, no. I want the solid. So it says like oh, it has lecture. A case? It says lecture and then there's like the, the little things on the back. Like the well, small print. Well, Oh, I want to be the small print. I want to be the FCC. <laughs> the FCC guideline regulation. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm flipping. So, small print you read, Lexer I read. All right, I read. All right, I swear to God that this book is bad, and it's the only Usopp book I will throw hell. I will throw something. I would just read a one shot from a series. <laughs> It all goes bad. I swear to god. <laughs> It'll be fine. Same day every day. And look, they even put a little calendar. <laughs> that a way we, calendar. we know that it's the same day every Is it day. Is July? I don't Is know. Is your calendar on July? Mine's on November. What the fuck are you Yeah, mine's July 17th, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. I looked out the window while having breakfast. I think I'll go read under the cherry blossom trees today. Might take a small lunch as well. I love spring. All the flowers blooming. I better make a head start. I pack a small lunch, do the dishes, and get dressed. Packing my things, get out to the cherry blossom trees. I sit under my favorite tree. This tree is the biggest one of them all. I wonder how old it is. I get comfy leaning back on the tree. Start reading medicine book. <laughs> Almost halfway. Might have some lunch. Place my book down and have and have lunch. Look around, enjoying the sounds of nature. I expected more people to be out on a Sunday. Maybe everyone had a big night. Oh well. I finish my lunch and go back to reading. I close my book and I'm done. I never get tired of reading medicine book. I packed. <laughs> up my, my stuff and headed home. I head home and make dinner, shower, and head to bed. I think I might do something productive tomorrow. Maybe go for a walk before I do the washing. Sounds good. I close my eyes and go to sleep. The next morning. <laughs> oh, it's cloudy today. I thought the paper said it'd be sunny. Oh well. I look out the window while having breakfast. I think I'll go read under the cherry blossom trees today. Even though it's cloudy, I can take an umbrella in case it rains. Might take a small lunch as well. I better make a head start. I pack a small lunch, do the dishes, and dress in jeans, periwinkle top. Uh, pack my, pack my things. Go to the cherry blossom trees. I sit under my favorite tree. This tree is the biggest of them all. I wonder how old it is. I get comfy, leaning back onto the tree. Started reading my medicine book. Halfway done. Might have some lunch. I place my book down, having lunch around, enjoying the sounds of nature. I guess the weather scared people off. Still, it's an enjoyable Sunday. I finish my lunch and go back to reading. Closing my book. And I'm done! I'll never get tired of reading medicine book. I picked up my stuff and headed home. I get home, make dinner, shower, and head to bed. Hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. I can do the washing and go for a walk. I close my eyes and go to sleep. Usopp. <laughs> Just Usopp. <laughs> Just Usopp's POV. Yeah. Do, wait, do you want to read for Usopp's POV? Uh, do you want to be, do you want to be, uh, and then I be Usopp? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we land in Autumn Island. If only it was summer, Mommy told us to do- Oh, oh my gosh. Mommy told us what to do and get stuff like she normally does. I quickly get everything done and go out to explore. I stumble across cherry blossom trees. This place looks nice. I walk around, see a girl sitting under the biggest one. She's reading a book. God, she looks beautiful. She puts her book down and looks around. She looks over to me, smiles and waves. I freeze. Is she moving to me? To me? No. She's moving to someone behind me. Yeah, that's it. She wouldn't wave at me. Now she's looking at me strangely. Maybe she is waving to me. I quickly wave back. Uh, hi! <laughs> she smiles and returns to her book. I make a quick getaway. Hide behind a tree. I got out of there. I feel something. I feel something my- I feel something my arm. Ah, don't hurt me! Wait. 
Yeah, that's you. Yeah. With you, my friend. Yep. Hee hee. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. I came over to see if you're okay. You ran off pretty quickly. It's the girl. It's the girl. <laughs> that one girl! <laughs> that one girl. My name's Kaya. Welcome to our island. Hi. I'm Usopp. Nice to meet you, Usopp. Her smile is so bright. And nice to meet you too. Wait, I mean... Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up the fucked up sentence. <laughs> I won. Keep going, keep going. She starts laughing. Way to go, Usopp. Haha, <laughs> you're funny. You think that's funny? Wait till you hear this. Oh my god. Tell stories. <laughs> He's Sorry. a loser. I love him. I tell her stories. She seems generally interested. A few times she called me out for lying. She seemed to enjoy herself. Man, I, I love how you straight called this guy a loser. <laughs> and then he's just like, I love him though. <laughs> I mean... Damn. Do my boy Usopp like that, dog? You aren't a Usopp, Dan, like I am. <laughs> you don't get it. Wow, Usopp, you live an interesting life. That's the life of a pirate. <laughs> I better get uh, going. What? <laughs> What's good? No, my bad. I like oh. legit lost. Yeah, I like had no clue. <laughs> I better get going. It's getting dark. Say, if you're not busy tomorrow, I can show you around the town if you like it. The great Usopp would never turn down such an offer. <laughs> Excellent. I'll meet you here at Tennis. Sounds good to me. How about I walk you home? What is that on my own? <laughs> <laughs> I feel my face heat up. Not long, we reach- Not long, we reach, reach her house. This isn't E. Oh wait, my bad. My bad. I don't know if we should popcorn read, because this is very difficult to understand. Oh, sorry. This is me. Thank you, Usopp, for walking me home. I can't let you walk home by yourself in the dark. Good night, Usopp. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Kaya. See you tomorrow. She went in and closed the door. Make my way back to the sunny. Hey, you sup, Chopper. What do you chopper? We, we, I think we might have to change books. Okay, what's up? All right. Just, just cut out this part of the recording. <laughs> I'm gonna learn to edit right now. Hold up, with the editing software? What, the one I use? The one I use to oh. edit your video. Yeah, right, like you edit. <laughs> I'm about to learn. <laughs> if you had an editor, how many how many posts would you do a day? I mean, I do like six videos a day. Um. But like, most of them don't really edit except for the Wattpad stuff. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting like, oh god, that's a front-facing camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, are you on the camera? Are you on the camera? Yeah, I wasn't gonna take a picture of the it. time. No, 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 no. No, I was just taking a picture of the OBS time, that way I, I know what parts to, to cut down. Oh god, alright. Do you want me to read? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay, cut that. <laughs> hey, Usopp. Chopper. Just Chopper. What are you smiling for? Zoro walking while waking from his 100th nap. <laughs> I'm going to have a tour of the island tomorrow. No way, can I come? Chopper jumps up and down. Sorry, Chopper. It's only for me. That's not fair, Usopp. I want to come too. Just you, or with a girl? Yeah, her name. Her name's Kaya. Oh, so it's a date then. Congrats on your date. Usopp has a girlfriend. <laughs> date? It's not a date. Kaya showed me around the island. Sounds like a date to me. Who would have known that Usopp would get a date before the air? <laughs> What was that Ma said? The two started fighting. Kaya didn't ask me out on a date. She 
She's just showing me around. Wait, what if she's too shy to ask me out? And this is her way of asking me. No, no, no. She's just, uh, she's just showing me around the town. Isn't she? <laughs> Man is having a dilemma right now. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I, I was about to say with chapter two, there's no chapters. It's just who are you? Which reminds me- oh shit. Oh, I forgot the name of the show. But it had like a bunch of children. And this mm -hmm. it was this kid playing the kazoo. <laughs> it was this blonde kid that was really good at playing the kazoo. Oh, wait, is it the- wait a minute. Who are you? Yeah, it was that. <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking that uh, Kai is gonna get to the cherry blossom and Usa's so gonna be like, Hey, I'm ready for you to show me around! He's like, wait a minute! Who are you? <laughs> Alright, well, who are you? Alright. Do you, do you want me to read the, the first part of this? Um, my Wattpad is acting up. Oh Hold up. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's every single one of these Jolene with technical issue technical issues. Don't worry, man. I'm, I'm taking a picture of the, the time. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Thing shit happens. How dare you not be prepared? It's not that I'm not prepared. I swear. I just Technology hates me. Ugh. Okay. I got you. Chapter two. All right. Us Usopp spent all morning a nervous wreck. He didn't. He didn't. Why he wasn't going on a date? You were only showing him around the town. That's it. Or so he thought. He made his way to the cherry blossom trees. Along the way, he picked up a few flowers. There you were, sitting under the biggest one, reading the same book from yesterday. He fixed himself, walked up to you. Morning, Kaya. These are for you. He shifted the flowers in your face. You stare at him. Do I know you? His smile and arm drops. Look at you. It's me. What's up? We met yesterday. Yesterday? I was at home yesterday. No one came over. You slowly pack your book away and stand up. You were here, reading your book, I swear! You you slowly start backing up. I'm sorry, I think you might have the wrong person. I wasn't here, I was at home. I'm not lying, I walked you home. You know where I live? You start running through the park trying to look for someone. Wait, Kaya! Usopp chases after you, calling out. You ran, fast. you ran as fast as you could to get away from him. As you were running, a pair of officers on the island came into view. Seeing your distress, they quickly hurried. Officers, there's a guy chasing after me. They sigh in frustration. You didn't notice. It's okay, Kaya. We'll handle this. Head on home. You look at them both, nod, and run off home, never looking back. Usopp freezes, seeing the island's officers. Starts to back up. Oi, you, come here. Who, me? He starts to back up slowly. Yes, you. Now, come here. A few of the other straw hats had seen what happened, ran to Usopp's side. Look, we're not looking for a fight. Chopper lowers his guard. You're not? No, jeez, I get tired of explaining this crap. Look, stay away from Kaya, okay? Why? Nami asked. She said she was going to show me around town. She acts like she doesn't remember me. Because she doesn't remember you. What do you mean she doesn't remember me? I think they, I think they mean she has memory loss. Correct. Whatever happened today, she won't remember tomorrow. Just stay away from her. It'll save us a lot of work. Honestly, we're getting tired of this. Damn! The two officers left that's so mean! Uh, you know... <laughs> leave her alone. She sees in the like same house, reads the same book under the tree. Just, just leave her alone, man. Gosh. <laughs> the two officers left the straw hat. They were left wondering about what happened to you. Nami walks over to Usopp places her hand on his shoulder. I'm sorry, Usopp. Why were they talking about Kaya like that? Like, like it was her fault, Usopp asked that loud. Dealing with someone with short-term memory loss is difficult, and difficult, but there's no excuse to be rude to her. 
She must have been in an accident if her memory's that bad. Who's upstairs walking off? Hey, where are you going? Namib. Namib called. Namib called out to him. We're gonna- Ah, we're gonna- Kaya. The three ran to catch up to him. I don't think that's a good idea, Usopp. She's already afraid. You'll only scare her more, Ro says Robin. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. Usopp walks off, leaving them behind. Chopper stood there, thinking about your situation. Robin looks down at him, seeing him pondering. What do you think, Chopper? She asks. If Kaya does have memory loss, was she treated? Didn't say much, but by the sounds of it, this happens a lot. Surely someone has been looking after her. Damn. Well, what did we say her last name was? Toaster. <laughs> oh, we were like <laughs> official about Toaster. Yeah, it's Toaster. Official name. You, <laughs> you, you was talking about Kaya Toaster? <laughs> An old lady over here. <laughs> Oh, I miss my toaster! Um, <laughs> I had a toaster once! I dropped it in the bath! <laughs> my husband isn't around anymore! <laughs> <laughs> Our friend had a misunderstanding earlier, Robin says. The older woman shakes her head in disappointment. She's more trouble than she's worth, that girl! How could you say that about someone? Nami rages. The older woman starts explaining everything to him. To them. Meanwhile, an officer just left your house, reassuring you that Usopp had been dealt with. He won't bother you <laughs> and to stay home. Meanwhile. As soon as the officer left <laughs> As soon as the officer left, you close up your house and sat on the lounge. Geared out of your mind. There was a knock at your door, and you almost jumped out of your skin. You sat in silence hoping the person would go away. There's another knock and a voice that fall and a voice to follow. Hey, Kaya, you in there? It was Usopp. You threw a blanket over your head and kept quiet and hoped he would give up and leave. Kaya, I want to apologize. Please open the door. You, you looked through the blanket at the door. You don't have to open the door. Just listen, please. He was pleading for an answer. You got up and walked over to the door. Looked at the hole. You see he looked sorry. Head, shoulders down, and slouched over. You could feel your heart start to crack and open the door. Kaya, he went to hug you, but you stepped back. Oh, sorry. The, the officer said you wouldn't come bothering me or come find me. Oh, I'll make this quick. I wanted to apologize. You see, I had this dream. It was so lifelike. I thought it was real. In my dream, you had said to me under the biggest cherry tree in the island. You had a dream? Yep. Usopp went on about the dream. You started to believe in him. In the end, he apologized for scaring you. No, it's okay. I'm sorry you got the officers involved. I hope they weren't too hard on you. Hard on me? I didn't even feel the slap. It caused you to giggle. Here. He held out flowers for you. This time, you accepted them. Thank you, Usopp. They smell beautiful. Dust of red... Dust... Dust of red covered his cheeks. It's nothing. He's blushing! Um, if you're not... Oh my gosh, Usopp. Boop! <laughs> <laughs> Um, if we're not doing anything tomorrow, can I show you around? If you still want to, that is. You had your own desk covering your cheeks. Sure, I'll meet you at the cherry blossom trees around 10-ish. Sounds great, I'll see you then. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Usopp. Why are they- Ooh, the you the door. <laughs> You close the door and admire the flowers. They do smell nice. You ran your fingers over one. You went and found the vase and set them on the table. Usopp made his way back to the sunny. As he bored, there were grim faces. Hey, what's the matter with you guys? No one answered. Guys? Nami stepped forward. It's about Kaya. What about Kaya? And then cliffhanger. Dun dun dun! Usopp cares. I thought this was Usopp cries. <laughs> Usopp cries. <laughs> what's with the water gun? Violence! But yes, Oh my very god, someone's gonna get shot. Oh, <laughs> with the water gun. <laughs> Alrighty. I can do this. I'm an actor. <laughs> after, after you left, an old lady came up to us and told us about Kaya. Nami held her arm and looked down. What happened? Usopp 
Cheerful mood was now gone, now replaced with worrying concern. About three years ago, Kaya's parents passed away from an illness, Robin said. Both of them? Yes, a lot of people fell ill. Most recovered. Kaya's parents sadly didn't. About a year later, Kaya was involved in an incident. An accident, Robin continues. Usopp was listening intensely. Kaya was on her way to the park. The Cherry Blossom Park? Yes. And as she's walking, a branch fell and hit her on the head. But how did that cause her memory loss? Usopp asked. The branch hit her head in the right side of her prefrontal cortex. Usopp, looking at Chopper, confused. Part of the brain that holds information for, for short term. Oh, can't the doctors help her? They tried. He tried multiple treatments, but nothing worked, Chopper said. So they left her by herself? Pretty much, Zoro said bluntly. We have to help her. Chopper, surely there's something we can do for her, right? Chopper looked away sadly. It's a permanent injury. The old lady was the, one of the doctors that took care of her. Says she'll never recover from the injury. We need to sit by? L Luffy? <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Chopper Ray looked at his books. You know Chopper's a great doctor. Usopp was angry he wanted to help you, but had no idea where to start. He's soaring off below deck. Nami reaches out to him. Sanji stops her. Let, it, let him be, Nami. <laughs> he retracts her hand. Everyone went off to do their own thing. Meanwhile, Usopp was in his factory thinking about you. The old lady could have been lying to them. Maybe she wasn't even a doctor. Usopp went over scenarios in his head. In the end, it always came back to one thing. Helping you. He was determined to help you get, get your memory back. I'm going to help Kaya, no matter what. I don't care how long it takes me. Usopp spent the night coming up with ideas on how to help you. He realizes it was late and went to bed. Hey, you think our character is gonna go, <laughs> go wake up, eat breakfast, and then go to the cherry blossom tree and read, and then just go back home? <laughs> No, she wouldn't do that. Okay. She'll definitely remember Usopp. Okay. Well, that's a lot of... <laughs> that's a lot of... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Alright, next <laughs> morning! I was trying to come up with the words while I was, like, laughing. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's a lot of confidence that you think she's gonna remember. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. Uh, you woke up the next morning, made your way downstairs. As you came down, you noticed flowers sitting on the dining in the dining table. You walk over to the table and inspect them. Where did these come from? You search around for a note or a letter that came with the, the flowers. You didn't find anything to, to say who gave them to you. I can't remember where I got the flowers from. I must have been really tired yesterday. I remember soon. <laughs> Little did she know she would not fucking remember. <laughs> You carried on like normal, making your way to the cherry blossom trees, sat down, and read your book. Usopp was hiding behind one of the trees, watching you. You sat in the same spot for the last two days. Made, made his way over to you, hoping he wouldn't scare you. Um, hi there. You looked up from your book and smiled. Uh, hey, how are you? His heart's speeding, speeding up, seeing you smile. I'm great. How about you? Uh, I'm Usopp, he says excitedly. Uh, causing you to giggle. <laughs> I'm, I'm good, thanks. It's nice to meet you, Usopp. I'm Kaya. You closed your book, giving him your full attention. Uh, nice to meet you, too. What book are you reading? Medicine book. <laughs> it's my favorite book. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even come up with a shitty title. It's a, it's just a medicine book. Modern medicine. Modern medicine, yeah. <laughs> What's it about? Your eyes light up. Sorry to tell him about your book. He sat beside you and listened to every word you said. By the time you finish, it's lunchtime. Both of your stomachs are growling. <laughs> You're hungry too? Yeah, I didn't have much for breakfast. I was too busy trying to remember who gave me the flowers yesterday. We start raising an eyebrow. Flowers? Was there a note or something with that came with them? You shook your head. I couldn't find one. I feel bad for not remembering who gave them to me. They smell beautiful though. I'm sure you'll remember soon. Did you want to get something to eat with me? My treat. You looked at him in a little shocked. You don't have to. You, uh, you smiled at him. It'd be nice to have lunch with someone for a change. Great. I mean, you giggled again at his excitement. He smiled at your cute giggling. So, where's a good place to eat? 
That depends. What do you like? Fish? Mostly pike? You brought up a finger to your lip thinking of places. There's a few restaurants that have great fish dishes. When he said his treat, he was hoping not a restaurant. <laughs> or there's this blue fish and chip shop. I know they don't use the normal fish for scallops, and they do fish on the stick. Did you want to go there? He was hoping you said yes. If you're okay with it, I am. Lead the way, he said, his hand out for you. You took... Yep. You took, he pulled you up. <laughs> you. He just took. <laughs> you, led, he, bah, you led the way to shop. You sat on the water's edge. You ordered your lunch, deciding to sit at the pier to eat. Join the view in the salty sea breeze. Usopp told you about the adventures he had while having lunch. You listened intensely as he did as he did with you. After lunch, you showed Usopp around town, like you said you would the past two days. <laughs> Not that you remembered or anything. <laughs> Usopp was happy he finally got to see the town with you. It started to get dark. Usopp... Usopp walked you home. Along the way, he picks up a flower that while you weren't looking. You reach your home. You look at for your keys and lock the door. Thank you, Usopp, for today. I really enjoyed myself. Thank me. I should be thanking you for showing me around. Uh, take me to fish and chip. The pike on the stick was delicious. Here. He holds out the flower. You smile and take it. You take a, sh a strand behind your ear. Thank you. Before you and your crew leave, you do want to go to lunch again? Yeah, I mean, uh, sure thing. I would love to go again. Your face heats up, as did Usopp, realizing what he said. I can't wait. Uh, hopefully I get to see you before then. Maybe? Definitely. I'd better go. Good night, Kaya. Good night, Usopp. You wave goodbye, heading inside. He made his way back. Once out of earshot, he jumps and cheers. Even though you won't remember what you said, you wanted to see him again. Even better, out, better go out to lunch again. With that, Usopp decided he's going to see you every day before he left, hoping that you would start to remember him. This is so fucking dead so far! It's gonna just keep going in a loop! <laughs> Dang. Have you seen those, uh, like, those time loop things that you have to go through it until, you know, you get it right? Yeah, oh, like, Groundhog Day? But it's like a whole, like, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do I haven't <laughs> seen that movie, per se. But I've definitely read a fic where it's like time loop. Yeah. Oh, there's an anime like that. Where like, I think it's like the, it's like about this main character that like every time he dies, the day restarts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And there's always horrible shit happening to him. So he yeah. tries to have like the best day without having something horrible going on. <laughs> but um, oh shit, what was the other one? So like. If a branch fell down and hit her on the head, could they just, like, take the branch and then hit her again? Would that fix the issue? I mean, they could try. Yeah. The brain is a mysterious thing, you know? So I don't want to see why yeah, yeah. it wouldn't work. Just saying. Why, why squiggly brain? Smushy squiggle work brain. Squiggle. So wait, if we can't store memories, does that mean our brain is just like a like a chicken breast, like no wrinkles on it whatsoever? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> if, if brain no memory, chicken breast. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, like you know what a brain looks like? It has like the like the squiggles I know, and shit. I know, I know you mean like the brain, but it's so funny. We can't retain like, shit. Does it just look like a chicken that breast? Has appeared in my brain. <laughs> I'm sorry, we shouldn't be mean to this girl. She's got memory loss. No, like she'll remember what we said. Anyway. No! Ah! That's terrible. Alright, well, go ahead. <laughs> Over the next few days, Usopp would meet you at the park. Of course, each time you never remembered him. But you always smiled at him, which always made his heart race. Today was different. As he went to step out behind the tree, someone stops him. What the hell do you think you're doing? Uh, who are you? He turns to see a man. I said, what do you think you're doing? I was gonna see Kaya. 
Why? She doesn't even remember you. I know she won't. Maybe I'll keep seeing her. Maybe if I keep seeing sh her, we'll she'll remember. He burst out laughing, wiped a tear away. You know it's hopeless, right? She's not, she, do, she don't remember a goddamn thing. <laughs> he thinks every day, son. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the goddamn day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it felt that way. She doesn't remember... She doesn't even remember her birthday or the day her parents died. Doesn't give you a right to laugh at her. You should be trying to help her. Help her? That girl's a lost cause. The amount of money this town has spent trying to help her and provide for her, it would have been better if she died. <gasps> oh my god! do that? Oh, so cruel. Cool. Fight this man. <laughs> Bro, the whole town. They didn't even try to whack her with a stick again. <laughs> All that money could be solved <laughs> if you just bonk her with a stick again, man. That could oh. fix the issue. <laughs> How can you say that? Usopp was enraged. For him to say that you were that you would have been better off wait. That would have that it would have been better if you were dead. That girl's been nothing but a burden since the accident. I can tell you now the townspeople hope that tree would hurry up and fall on her. And <laughs> oh my god. All she's oh. doing is eating up our money. Oh my god, I'm gonna beat up this man! <laughs> oh my, that's like the whole town. He's saying like the whole town shares that sentiment. Yeah. Jeez. I love, I love this next line from Usopp. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Just because you've given up on her doesn't mean I will. I'm her friend. What aren't you getting out of it? She doesn't remember you. I heard a commotion. You look, look up from your book. You notice two men behind the tree. You got, you got up to investigate. Is everything okay here? You look between the two. The man glares at you and walks away. You look at, you look to Usopp. He stares down the man. Are you okay? I'll be okay. Sorry for disturbing. No, it's okay. Did he hit you or anything? He didn't hit you or anything, did he? No, he didn't. He was talking rubbish about my friend. You're a loyal friend for standing up to him like that. Thanks. I got a question for you. Oh, okay. What is it? If you had a chance to get off this island, would you? You were caught off guard. A random stranger asking a question like that. So you thought, you look back to the tree, get off the island. That depends. What would I be doing after I left? You, he'll be a pirate. <laughs> a pirate? You stop to think about it. I don't think I'd be very piratey, but I guess I could learn. The only thing really keeping me here is the tree over here. Home hasn't been the same since my parents passed away. Great! I mean, not great about your parents passing away. I mean... <laughs> he grabs your hands, causing you to drop your book. Join Luffy's crew. Who? Luffy, Luffy's our captain. I'm vice captain. If you join our crew, you'll have adventures every day. I don't even know who you are, or your captain. Right, my name's Usopp. It's nice to meet you, Usopp, but I can't join your crew. I'm sorry, I have to go. You pull your hands back and pick up your book. You start walking away. Wait, Kaya, please reconsider. Kaya! You picked up the pace and went home. You got home, fumbled your keys. Chopper, Robin, and Luffy noticed your distress and made their way out of her. As you were able to open the door, it swings open. Fuck. What are you doing in my home? You start to back up. He stares you dead in the eye. You were supposed to be reading. You know, fuck it, I'm tired of this bullshit. You got hit in the head two years ago. You lost your short-term memory. Everyone here has to babysit your ass because you can't remember what day it is, let alone buy yourself food. I know what today is. It's Sunday the 3rd. Yes. Grabs the next door newspaper. You're wrong, it's Tuesday the 26th. You take the newspaper and take a look top right corner it reads Tuesday the 26th. You drop the paper and go to your other neighbors to grab the paper. What do you think that paper is going to be different you dumb bitch? <laughs> oh my god. You're so mean to this bitch. Jeez. Like there are nicer ways to do this. At that point just like I don't even know. I was going to say throw her in the sea but I think yeah I feel like that's less cool. I just talk shit about it ocean. whenever. <laughs> you know? Yeah, just chuck her in the ocean. See if she remembers how to <laughs> swim! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jeez. That was 
I'm sorry, that was fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that was real funny. That was real funny. You hold up a minute. I thought you. I thought you meant to wait. Hold on one second. I gotta clip this. Am I am I good to continue? Yeah. Okay. Hey, don't talk about Kai like that. Luffy yells at him. Your eyes widen, seeing the date. He was correct. It was Tuesday the 26th, and two years later, you drop to the ground. Robin and Chopper join your side. You'll be okay. How about we go inside? Robin asks you. If you'd like, I could give you a checkup. Why bother? She's useless. Usopp approaches, seeing Robin and Chopper holding you. Runs straight over to you. I was going to say Penny. No, I'm Penny. <laughs> I, uh, are you okay? <laughs> you, look at it. you look up a bit him with tears in your eyes. How did you know my name? I never told you. Well, the man cut him off. This guy right here has been hanging, out, hanging around you for days now. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. You know, probably good. You could, you could do whatever you wanted and she wouldn't remember it. Oh my god! Jesus, punch this man in the face! I hate all these people! Oh, yeah. How dare you! Usopp walks up to him and punches him in the face! <laughs> Usopp to go! God D Usopp in her hands or in. <laughs> Talk about Kai. How dare you talk about Kai like that? Fuck you. Why else would you hang around her? He oh, his cheek. I, oh my god. I is my friend. I want to help her get her memory back. It's a waste of time. She's useless. She'll be better off dead. By now, a crowd started to gather around. Robin and Chopper managed to get you, get you to stand. Start started walking you inside. If you know what's good for you, you'll leave her alone. A woman calls out. She's only a burden. Another shouts. Don't listen to them. Robin's right, Taya. They don't know what they're saying. But. They get you inside. Meanwhile, Usopp and Luffy were outside arguing about arguing about you with the townspeople. They sit you down on the lounge. As they walk past the table, Robin notices an open book. There's dates written down. I'll get you a glass of water. As she walks past and takes the book. In the book, there were notes about you. About your well-being, what you needed, the same sentence to be written every time. No signs of improvement. The man that was in your house was your care was your care or one of your cares that were different there were different signatures each day she flipped through the beginning of the book there were notes on your treatments all different doctors you never stuck to one treatment very long or the same doctor or care either meanwhile chopper was talking to you while looking you over you didn't talk back you were too shocked about what happened to you and what the townspeople were saying especially what the carer said she's useless she'll be better off dead us ran through your head. You're useless. There was nothing you could do. If you were dead, at least you'd be with your parents again. <gasps> oh no! Jesus. No, Kaya, no! <laughs> Wouldn't be a burden to the town. Usopp and Luffy come in. Luffy, come here a moment. He nods and goes over. Usopp joins you in the lounge. Chopper, walk over to Luffy and Robin. Hey, you okay, Kaya? How long have we... I mean... You know me. Just over a week. Why do you keep seeing me? When you know I won't remember you. Because you're my friend, Kaya. That's why. And friends look out for each other. He started crying. But I don't even remember you, Usopp. How can we be friends when I don't remember? I want to help you get your memory back. So you can remember. Usopp pulls you in and hugs you. And you cry into his chest. I'm about to cry. All these, all these people are so mean to her. And then, like, it is so wild. Especially when the dude assumed Usopp was just trying to get some, like, oh my god. He's trying to be nice. He's like, you know what, I'm gonna befriend this girl and I'm gonna help her. I'm gonna help her get her memory back, you know? Yeah, and everyone's like, forget about her, she's a fucking burden anyway. <laughs> no one in the ocean, kill her! She's, <laughs> she she's eating up all our money. <laughs> Oh god, these people are horrible. I want to burn this island. <laughs> Sink it. Oh god, well, join the crew, I guess. 
so wait a minute, because like it goes through like she has like normal. She retains everything that day. Because if she couldn't, she would have been like halfway through eating lunch with Usa. I'd be like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> so like, is it just like when she goes to bed and then wakes up, all of her memories are gone? So like, if she just I never sleeps so. again, oh, to retain a little bit of memory, maybe. Who knows? Uh, maybe I'm just shitting out of my ass right now. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know, I think that's a good idea. They should try that. <laughs> I don't understand why Usopp wants to help me. He's only known me for a week, so he says. I'm only be a waste of his time. The whole town gave up on me. He and my friends have. So, so should he. You okay, Kaya? I sit up, looking at my hands. Not the moment. Once I get some sleep, I will be. So, don't worry. You can leave. I'll be fine. You smile at them, but Usopp's face drops. How can you say that you'll be fine? The whole town, they- Usopp can't finish his sentence. Because in the morning, I won't remember, so just go back to the way things were. Really, there's no use of worrying. You'll be leaving in a few days. You don't want to get better? Luffy asked. Of course I do. I guess the doctors have done everything they can, so... I'd be like this until I die. But you don't- but you don't have to. They didn't look after you properly. Trapper's right. There's no consistency in your treatments. You had multiple doctors and carriers. Robin pointed out. Uh-huh. There should have been one doctor or carrier. Having a constant person in your life would be better for your chances. Trapper perks up. It's already been two years. The damage has been done. Probably can't be undone. I'm grateful for your concern, but please don't worry about me. I'm sure your log post will reset soon. The sooner you all leave, the better. I got up and made my way to the table. I brushed my hand over the flowers. I wonder if Usopp got me these flowers. Don't you want to leave a normal life? I hear Usopp behind me. As far as I know, I will be. There's no use of trying to fix my problem. Especially... Especially since no one... Especially no use in them worrying about me. Join my crew! I hear the sympathy in Luffy's voice. I look up at Luffy. No, I won't join your crew. <laughs> alright, alright, at this point, she's gonna get an arc, and then at the end, she's gonna be like, you know what? I will join your crew. That's exactly what's I gonna happen. That's what happens to everyone. They're like, nah, sorry, bro, I can't. And then at the end of the arc, they're like, you know what? Th this, this goofy little guy is pretty cool. <laughs> Goofy little guy. This this silly little rubber man is pretty okay. Silly little man. Silly little dude. Yeah, he's just a little guy. <laughs> he's just a little guy. He's a little man. I mean, he can become a little guy. You won't see that yet. Don't worry about it. You have to. Once Luffy asks you to... Luffy, once Lucy asks, you have to join. You say nothing holding you back the hair. Oh, you said nothing's holding you back here. I turned to Usopp, seeing the desperation in his eyes. That's before I knew I have short-term memory loss. It's o I'll only be holding everyone back. You have to remind me every day where I am, who everyone is, and that I had an accident. You're pirates who don't need that type of problem on the ship, so no, I won't be joining. Please leave. I want to be left alone. But Kaya, we can help you. I'm a doctor. I'll be able to help you. That's very nice of you, Chopper, but my mind's made up. Please don't come and see me tomorrow. Try to convince me to join. But, come on, Chopper. Kaya made up her mind. Chopper and Robin left. But Luffy and Usopp are still there. Usopp, we're not leaving until Kaya joins. What? Aye, aye, Captain! Us Luffy leaves, closing the door. You heard him. We're not leaving until you join. That's stupid. I'm not- I'm no value to the crew. I'll just be a burden, that's it. Usopp pulls his hands. You're not a burden, Kaya. Please come with us. Chopper's a great doctor, and I'll be there every step of the way, I promise. His hands were warm. So gentle. He seems to be a kind-hearted person. But I can't join. There's no point. They'll get tired of waiting and leave. My answer's no. I'm sorry, Usopp. I don't see a reason to join Luffy's crew. I- Pull my hands away from his. Can you please leave? I looked away from him. 
I'm not going to give up on you. That's a promise. I'll see you tomorrow at the cherry blossom tree. Ten o'clock. He smiles. Leaves and closes the door behind me. The only promise is you can't keep, I sigh. Looking around the place, my eyes land on the coffee table. There's a single periwinkle flower landed on it. Usa must have given me the flowers. I place it... I, I take it placing it in the vase. I take a single flower. Go to press and I open the press. Seeing six already there. He's giving me flowers every day? But why? I place the next flower in. I should probably date them. I work my way backwards to Tuesday, the 19th. I take my book to my room, sitting on the bed, staring at them. Why would you give me flowers, Usopp? Oh yeah, why would you give me flowers, Usopp? What is it about me? You want me to join so badly. Maybe my life would be better if I join. I'll be surrounded by every people every day. The same people every day. Never did seem that he really wanted to help. Usopp said he would be there every step of the way. How do I know that they won't give up on me and just get rid of me? So many things I need to think about, so little time. After a while of thinking, Hans always weighed out the pros. Yeah, it would be good for me to have the same people in my life. It would be a routine, sort of. I know some about navigation. It's been two years, and I know about the areas that has probably changed. I'm sure they already have a good navigator, but if the ship gets attacked, I'll be a liability. I don't know how to use a weapon. If I'm gonna roll, they would have to remind me every day. Third! Before I knew it, you, before you knew it, you fell asleep with the book in your bed. You wake up the next morning wondering how the book got in the bed. As you woke, walked downstairs, you saw more flowers on the table. You're confused at how they got there. You went about your morning as nothing happened. You made your way to the cherry blossom tree. In the distance, you could see someone waiting by the tree. As you got closer, you smiled and said hello. Hi, I'm Usopp. I'm Kaya. It's nice to meet you. I was wondering if I want if you wanted to talk. Okay, sure. You were a little off. Agreed anyway. I decided to hear him out. This is so fucking sweet! Oh my god! <laughs> I like how she's like, oh, what if, like, you know, they get tired of her, like, th these townspeople hate her, but they did spend, like, two years taking care of her. Yeah. I mean, not really. Like, I, I mean, still they hate sure. those guys, but, you know. I mean, all they did was, like, whenever she left, which would be, like, routinely leaving and whatnot, they would just make sure all of her shit is, like, filled and nothing is really out of place. Mm -hmm. Of, like, making sure she's got food, making sure she has the same amount of money and all that crap. So nothing seemed weird. Mm hmm I'm just wondering. This is so sweet so far. Why was there so many warnings about lemons and poor play and shit? How, did, how does something wholesome become into that? I'm scared, Julian. Well, I'm scared. so far we're on. Yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be okay. Maybe, maybe it's not real. Maybe it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they pranked us. <laughs> We've been pranked. We finished reading this on April first. It's like April Fools. There's no smite. And we're like, oh shit! Oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I just had a thing pop in my in my brain. I mean, to be fair, I, like right after I said like. How could something so wholesome turn into something like this? And then I remembered the Harvey X reader I'm reading with Minho turn into that. Oh my god. Man, I can't wait for you to see that. Is... <laughs> and did like the same treatment that we did for the fucking law one, or like right before I read it, I'm like, <gasps> I'm an actor. <laughs> oh, well. Jolie, what did you think of the book? I, I really like it. My brain's empty so far. Nice. It just tends to be that way. And empty. It's interesting. Only Usopp. <laughs> only Usopp. Yeah. It's only Usopp. It's only... Oh gosh. What's his name? Ace. Ace? Jason Romero Gibson. The <laughs> live action actor for I Usopp. Thought, and it's I like, thought wow. you were about to say Jason Derulo. <laughs> no! Stop <laughs> that. <laughs> 
like, all right, everyone's got their thing. <laughs> Jason Derulo. I mean, to be fair, have anything I, to do with Usopp. I don't know. You said you said Jason. That's the first actor I thought of. But like, I mean, I mean, to be fair, people have been like thirsting over fucking Spring Chap. So, like, since the well, fucking FNAF movie came hey. out. So. No, it's since before. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, are you one of those? No, I am not. Uh-huh. I could be. Oh, I aspire. Please, please I no. aspire to be. <laughs> well, <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be free <laughs> trapped in. You got problems, man. <laughs> Look. Alright, well... I guess it's gonna do it, so uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and spin the wheel. <laughs> wheel the wheel the wheel the wheel beautiful wheel you see the wheel you see how magnificent it is do you see that how we have less options now wheel. <laughs> we did have to sort through them yeah we like right after like, we found the usopp one we're like shit there's only one book for usopp so we had to go through each ship that we had in here and make sure that there was a book at least one so well we our minimum was like three yeah yeah, and Usopp's still here. <laughs> Alright, I get- What? Right. I mean, the Usopp X reader. <laughs> oh, okay. I was yeah. like, yo, how right. we you do this? Eh, I'm scared. I'm so, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm hoping for one. Oh. <laughs> so much oh, would be! Okay. That was real close, that was real close, but yeah. I'm cool with this. Yay! We have a winner! Zorro. I have a perfect book. It's from the same people who wrote the Law X Reader. <laughs> it's gonna be great, fam. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Alright, well, <laughs> I'm so excited about the Zora one. That's one of the earlier books that they've had that I haven't read at all. What if what if I chose one? Okay, you got you got recommendations? I mean, I will. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see them. I don't know, I've had the Zoro X Reader on my on the list for a while, and I don't really want to read it. But if you got better shit, then I'll read other shit. Well, we'll find out soon. Yeah. <laughs> Next time. Wait, do we? Piece. Okay. Are we picky about what our reader is? Because normally people do, like, female reader. What if we had a male reader? I mean, I'm not really picky about it. Okay. I mean, I I don't give a shit. The, as long as the book's good and not make me have a stroke every time I read it. Mm hmm Yeah. But I actually really enjoy this book. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you guys to read. Just be warned about the contents uh, later on in the book. Uh, if you get jump scared by boobs, that's your own fault. <laughs> not mine. <laughs> that is so funny. But, uh, but uh, th thank you for joining, Jolene. I, I really appreciate it. It's, it's always a blast. <laughs> I, put, I put you, you know, through enough It reminds shit. me that I am illiterate. <laughs> and maybe I'm not the only one. I mean, to be fair, you are reading with me, after all. <laughs> no! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I really put you through a lot during these. I mean, our last book was the law one, and it got really, uh, suggestive to say that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Poor people. <laughs> Alright, well, I <laughs> I guess next time you see little Jolene on the screen, we're gonna be reading fucking Zorro. Our, our Zorro! Red man. I cannot Money wait more. to see some big titties. I mean, read a very passionate book. <laughs> huh? You know, like, wait, you never, wait. Blech. I think it's like more of a <laughs> Post time skip and whatnot for Zoro, but Zoro got some big knockers, I man. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but they're, they're like, this shit got people going like, "Mommy, sorry, mommy." <laughs> oh my god! Sorry. All right, I, I think I'm, I, I need a drink. <laughs> but uh, anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.